Everybody told us that you can't do this. It's not possible what uh, Street Scooter want to do. Street Scooter as a company is very innovative because we started very early to collaborate on a different level with our partners. It's a network approach. We call it disruptive network approach. So the, the starting point was the idea to reduce the development time significantly, but it's only a theory. And everybody told us, okay, you have, uh, you have PowerPoint slides, and we say, okay, now we have to prove what we are talking about the last 10 years. We are not reinventing the wheel, but we have a different approach to roll the wheel. Um, that is, um, we took the customer requirements right from the beginning and not when, we, when the cars are in the field, because this would lead to a lot of costs afterwards. As a normal process developing a car, for example, one company defines the specification and then they uh, deal with other companies and all the others have to do what the one is saying. We want all the knowledge from all the partners, from the whole network, from big companies, from small companies, they have good ideas and we want to integrate. The different partners, the suppliers and uh, discuss what is the right specification to fulfill the needs of the customer. That is the main difference between our approach and the existing ones. One of the big challenges uh, we faced when we started the year at Street Scooter is we were only three people. We have, we have about 80 partners working in this project. To bring the disruptive network approach to life, it was uh, very important to have a partner like PTC. We had to find a platform where all the data has, is being collected because all these different firms use different programs or different platforms to normally work in their environment. So we had to bring it all into one environment where we can all work. This is very important if you want to build a car. In the production process, we uh, use uh, elements uh, of the PTC platform to organize the workflow, to handle all the parts here in-house. So if there is any change in the engineering uh, department, we will see it directly here in our manu manufacturing uh, process. Here uh, we have a car um, which is powered by a lithium-iron battery and a so-called asynchronous motor. Um, we have a power of 30 kilowatts and we have a maximum speed of 85 kilometers per hour which is specified for the customer. The cruising distance on one charge um, is about 80 kilometers. So in the driver cabin we have to fulfill a lot of requirements for the Deutsche Post. For example on this side we see a containment um, that has space for seven leather containers. You see on this side uh, the blind spot on the right side and if you shift into reverse the camera automatically shifts to reverse and you can see what is going on in the back. We have a special steering wheel for the Deutsche Post which is adopted here for different positions and different bodies. Coming to the cargo, it's very easy to open. It's electrically powered. You just push the button and it opens. You see the flat um, surface here, which is very um, ergonomic. It's very easy to put the parcels inside. The light comes inside, so uh, you don't need a lot of uh, lamps. Let's come to the back door. It's very easy to open too. It also serves as a rain protection, so you can just take the parcels and go outside without getting wet. Normally in the automotive process uh, it's, uh, it's very costly to change uh, such things. Here it's very, very easy to do. So you can change very easily uh, the design, the face of the car for example. This is especially for Deutsche Post. When you say you like it, it's okay. When you don't like it, it's also okay. The street scooter is a smart product because it fits uh, directly to the needs of our customer, the German Post. In terms of being interactive, we're working on uh, ways to diagnose problems in the car in a new way, so we can have a smart approach to this whole service infrastructure and this whole service concept, which we're actually working on at the moment with PTC. We want to collect as many data as we can to be able to improve our product. So we started to collect the data from the car, like the SOC, the state of charge, the driven range, uh, all kinds of stuff we can collect on the fly. We need uh, around about one year for the first uh, drivable prototype. That's half of the time it's normally uh, need for this uh, process. And the next step to industrialize 
uh, this car we need another one and a half year and it's also uh, half of the time the, this process normally needs. So uh, we fulfill our, our objective to, to half the time in the automotive industry. As a, a professor, uh, you have a lot of ideas, but a lot of these ideas uh, never uh, come to practice. It's more than a project, it's a chance to change something and to bring it in the, in the real world. So this uh, disruptive network approach, I think we will change the market, we will change the engineering process, and that will be a revolution.